internet and today's video is going to be a book opinion those videos in which I tell you my opinion on a book and today's book is going to be The Call by Pedro O'Golan. Now I'm going to admit I had no idea what this book was about when I picked it up and thankfully that worked out for me. Unfortunately I'm about to tell you everything so if you want to go in blind you sh probably shouldn't have come here but Originally when I picked up this book I thought it was just gonna be like a b-list horror movie type thing like oh you only have seven days left to live or oh, whatever only three minutes to live uh, and survive. Um, I don't know where I got that but for some reason I just had it that someone like calls you at your house and then comes and acts murders you in your home. That is not what this book does. Well not exactly. A lot of people get murdered but not in a normal serial killer way, in a magical serial killer way. So this book takes place in Ireland and it follows the Irish people and the Irish children because there is a history. So you hear a lot about Irish lore involving a lot of fae and fairies, the Sahid. I'm gonna call them fairies because it's a lot easier but they are referred to as the Sahid in this book. So fae and fairies in um, Irish culture, Irish legend, are not nice little Tinkerbell things. They have never been really nice creatures if you've ever bothered to study them. Uh, they're already they're always like pretty terrible and tricksty. So a long time ago the Irish came and they saw all the Fae there and they were like, you know what boys, we want you to leave. So the Irish banned the Fae to a different land called the Greylands, which is like kind of a magical in-between realm. And 20 years ago or 25 years ago, the Fae discovered a way to pull humans, specifically the Irish, into the Greylands for up to three minutes of Earth time. And it's about a day in Greyland because like time works differently. Now they're targeting the Irish because the Irish put them in the Greyland and the Greylands are like a special type of hell. It is so gross and disgusting and it creeps me out. And whenever they discuss it and describe it, I'm just like, mm -hmm. if I was the Fae, I would not want to live there either. It's pretty bad, it's pretty bad. Um, so the kids that they take are kids. The only way that the Fae can really capture somebody is if they are one Irish and two they are in the midst of their adolescence. So basically if you in puberty you about to die because these Fae gonna try to kill you and they ain't gonna be nice about it either. So because of this 25 years where the Fae have been stealing kids and kids have been trying to survive the Fae being chased chasing them down and hunting them in the Greylands, they have come up with survival schools. So children who reach their adolescence will go to a survival boarding school where the main goal of that school is to teach you different lessons of how to survive. You learn fey language, you learn how to run, you learn how to like escape, how to build fires, like all survival skills you learn at these survival schools. So this book follows a main character, Nessa, and she has uh nobody really believes that she has any potential of winning because she has a big disadvantage a big physical disadvantage as a child she contracted polio and because of that her legs are very very weak and she has to wear braces so that means running like a average person really isn't an option for her instead she has to like make some workarounds and because of this people don't really believe Nessa can do it but like Nessa's determined so one thing that I really liked about this book is one we have a disabled main character and it's not about ableism it's not about like oh you only have you can only be able-bodied to do this and yes while other people around her and even she has self-doubt because she has this physical disability the book is never like the author the book the way that they are writing it is never saying that is how you should think about people with disabilities but simply pointing out that's how ignorant people think about disabilities right so I love that this book also has an interesting story to style so while Nessa is the main character and it does take place at the survival school there will be chapters um, throughout the book discussing individual characters that Nessa meets and goes to school with and their experience in the Greylands because you can be snatched at any time and for the three minutes you're gone on terror time you are in the Greylands for like a day 
a running for your life butt naked so there are several like inserts here about different kids that Nessa meets and that we discover before they go to the Greylands and then their time in the Greylands and how hard it is to fucking survive so basically I guess one of the the, the kind of lessons of this book that I really enjoyed was the fact that Nessa really doesn't have anything against her she does not actually have a disadvantage when it comes to surviving in the Feylands like yes her legs uh, don't work like everyone else's does yes she probably can't run on her own two legs she has to come up with different means to get around really really fast if she wants to run but she's not actually at a disadvantage because when we see all of these other kids with all their different body types with all their different skill types with all their different backstories and histories and them in the Greylands we learn the Greylands are fucked up and these fairies are gonna hunt you and everybody's at a disadvantage it doesn't matter what family you came from what physical activities you did how good you were at survival school how strong you are you are at a disadvantage because you are being hunted by crazy murderers no one no one is really at an advantage here so least of all Nessa at a disadvantage plus it also points out that while you might be weaker in some things you are a lot stronger in others like Nessa has the arms of a god I was jealous of her arm strength she had the arms of a god and I was just like you people need to stop pointing out her legs because she punched you one good time you're dead like her arms, freaking, I'm jealous and I didn't even get to see the muscles on them. Like, her arms sound amazing, okay? So basically, I just want to say, so this book is basically just about Faye hunting down people, but also has a really good lesson about disabilities and having a disabled main character and just pointing out, don't be ableistic just because you have one thing that may work against you it doesn't mean that you're at a greater disadvantage than everyone else especially when crazy serial killers are about to kill you so basically it doesn't matter if you're textbook perfect of what they think you should be at the survival school anybody could win and anybody could lose like anyone can suffer in this game and it just depends on you at the end of the day it doesn't depend on a special list of requirements that you have to fulfill it doesn't depend on a special list of stats that you apparently have at the end of the day it depends on how you act when you are being hunted and nothing else and no one else so like yes prepare and train but come on everyone's at a disadvantage so why, why are you pointing out fingers at one versus the other because everyone's about to suffer so this book is pretty short um it's not it's not that long it is a part of a series i will read this book as a standalone because i really liked it as a standalone and i'm pretty sure that the second book will not have the same storytelling style like i mentioned this book yes the main character is nessa but we get those little inserts of different characters and their thoughts as they are being chased down in the Greylands, and i really liked that sort of uh, shift in point of view of seeing all of these different characters but while also knowing that Nessa is my main girl the whole time so I really like that storytelling style I just really like this book it works great as a standalone however if you like this book and you're like I need more there is a second book there is more so don't worry um I like seeing the Fae be like really creepy um and actually be the menacing stuff that they're always talked about in folklore because a lot of times Fae come across as like Ooh, dainty little nice beauties and like you know they're like they're human-esque when fays are fays and not humans so I liked that um a little bit of warning like if you kind of get like a little cringe at the idea of visual gore then you might not like this book I'm not gonna say like it's blood and guts everywhere but there are definitely some visual imagery that they have in this book where it seems really gross like when I say the Greyland seemed like a disgusting place and pretty morbid like that I, I mean it like have you if you've ever seen pictures of like human sculptures and twisted human body parts and like all of that sort of stuff I don't suggest you look it up right 
but that was a thing and people have done that using like human flesh to create art um art is in the eyes of the beholder and these eyes do not behold that but whatever so there are some imagery and some things like they're described that can seem like really grotesque and really gross looking i don't think it's scary but if that is something that would bother you or you're not like really fond of that I would go into this book tentatively otherwise I think it's pretty good there are some scenes where like people get a little too handsy with this girl okay there are some scenes of that that there's a warning there for you if that is something nothing really really horrible but don't touch people when they don't want to be touched is the lesson all right is the lesson so the call was a really good book it works as a standalone you can also continue with the series it ends up being really good it's really short light not light read but a really short read <laughs> um so if you have read this book and you like it comment down below because i don't know i haven't heard a lot about this book from a lot of people so i'm curious to see how many of you are already familiar with this book and whether or not you liked it click all the button buttons down below if you like what you're seeing here and goodbye internet